So let's do a few more examples to get familiar with how this works. Uh, we'll start off with uh, one hexene and uh, I will draw this out. Uh, when you're working with this type of reaction it makes it easier if you draw the double bond so that you can clearly see what's attached to either end of it. So I'll draw the double bond here. On the one end I've got a carbon and two hydrogens. Uh, on the other end I've got CH and then I will have CH2, 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 CH3. There we go. In fact, I'm going to draw that out even more explicitly. We'll put in the C and we'll put in the H so that we can clearly see what's going on. Okay, now when oxidative cleavage occurs, you break it down the middle of the double bond like this. On the left hand side here, we've got an end carbon. And so it is going to become it's going to become an acid, carboxylic acid, and there are five carbons in this carboxylic acid. So it's going to become pentanoic acid. What about the other fragment? Well, it's a single carbon. It's a carbon all by itself. And we said when oxidative cleavage is performed on a double bond that is at the end of a molecule, like it is in this one, and that single carbon is cleaved off, it ends up being uh, oxidized as far as it can go, which means to carbon dioxide gas. And often when people are writing uh, reactions with gases, they will draw a little arrow like this, which indicates to you that the gas is bubbled off. It's evolved is the, the proper word for it. So it disappears out of the reaction solution. OK, so that's the first one. Uh, let's try this next one, which is 3-ethyl uh, pent-2-ene. And again, I'm going to draw it out um, in a condensed structure so it's a bit easy to see what's going on. So it will look like this. There we go. That's drawing it out as a condensed structure. We perform oxidative cleavage and we cut it through the double bond like that. On the left hand side, you can see that because of the ethyl substituent, the carbon is a middle carbon, so it's going to become a ketone and there are five carbons in that ketone. It's going to look like this. Right, because of the five carbons, that is in fact pentanone, and we should indicate which carbon the double bonded oxygen is on, which is carbon number three, so three pentanone, or penten three own, if you like. On the other side of the molecule, the carbon is an end carbon, so it's going to be a carboxylic acid, and there are two carbons in that fragment, so it's going to look like this, and that is ethanoic acid. So this particular reaction, when you do oxidative cleavage on this molecule, you end up with a mixture of two products. For one hexene, you got a pure product because the other fragment came off as carbon dioxide gas. Uh, but in this one, you get a mixture of two products, and that is often the case. So finally, here's one for you to think about for the tut at school, cyclohexene. Uh, what will be the product when cyclohexene is exposed to hot acidified KMnO4? That's for you to think about in the meantime.